bit of damage done here because they're swarming. It's actually Sineri. He's the man who popped down, not a Canary. We'll grab that kill back and Magic's with the trade means window control taken. I do love that Team Spirit as a CIS team, they just said it, if you can withstand the early pressure, you know, we barely had time to get the intro out of our mouths and we were into the round there, Chad, and it's going to be good. I love that high octane style. It's getting more and more rare, but man, it's fun. And Magic shows us why as he gets two GXX pulls back. Only the single, but Siren is there to shut down any retake potential. Just Synopsy, who looked pretty solid yesterday when we watched them. No question about that, but he's not looking like he's going to get much going in that situation. Spirit up 1-0. Yeah, good stuff from Boris the butcher there three kills for him and this is the thing with the bad trying to trick us well it's yeah because that's probably what his passport and such says well, there you get go. to choose that on hltv by the way because uh, they don't have access he to could birth. he could ask yeah he could definitely ask it's not like they just like yeah anyway whatever scenario inside the orange box position is going to take out one already he's going to follow that up with some spray toward chopper who's going to light him on fire force him out of this does he just concede yep maybe the right call like he delayed some time by just hanging out it's interesting. Just a totally non-aggressive death as he stays inside of it. The problem is Majisk now has Ragon, so they have a chance at this in what is now a three on two, a two on two, oh. a two on one. Chopper's going to find another as inside of the site. Maybe he should have pushed out through that Molotov. They might turn this from a five on two into a win, and Chopper does it with four kills. Uncle Chop Chop. He they don't look unbeatable, and Navi looks a little shaky still too. So you've got a, a real chance, I think, of... Uh, of the best competition in a while, and a lot of these teams with those younger players, quote unquote, onliners, are getting better on land. So it's going to be competitive all the way through, I think. One well, not true, steps out, doubles up. In fact, the damage was already there. He fired through to get the second shot. But it's Majisks, uh, Majisks, Majisks that's going to get the shot back. That's close enough. He's going to go down the vent. And Wonderful sits back with the AWP to see if anyone wants to follow. But they have the smokes in place. The bomb is going to be planted by Chopper. Well, Sonari needs to carefully creep up here. It will allow them to take back into Decon. Chopper needs to trade this because Wonderful's down. One on three for Chopper, and this time won't get it done. Synopsy cleans him. Cool. Outside clear. Synopsy. Forward flash. He looked away. He actually had the crosshair right. That's going to give them the entrance again. Siren and Chopper getting the openers, and when Flatcher's on the move, he's on the move away. I think even though there's only three alive, they're already going to call this save because the money is not close. Maybe, oh, look at this too. If they hold, the GXX thinks I'll just hold the op towards secret, maybe catch someone leaking, leaving. Little does he know he's actually being lurked on right now. He is looking back this direction, no, but no idea. There was no way he was going to react in time. That's a big find from Chopper. Take away a couple more guns here. Denying the AWP is massive. I want to send out a search party. So Chopper can continue to push forward. Ooh, I don't know if I know. <sighs> I, I kind of think 2-0 Spirit is based on... Okay, this is fast. That's foolish. We might have something in this one. Pistols again. Deagle for GXX. He finds two kills. Wonderful is not feeling so much so as he's suddenly tagged down to 62, trying to fire thought shots with the AWP through the hut. But I don't know about two blowouts, Chad. Okay. I think B&E is capable of winning a map in this series. No question. But I don't think they can... I don't know if they're capable of blowing out Spirit. Okay. All right. That's fair enough. I think Mirage as well, you get to territory like that, anything's possible. But this is a bit of a fumble here from Spirit. Wasn't the cleanest with a top set piece like that. Didn't look like anybody was flashed. The util wasn't in place. And now the bomb is on the floor directly at the feet of GXX, who's on the jiggle with the Mackie. For Wonderful, maybe this is just defensive utility. Oh, he's actually going to deny the AWP? Hmm. I mean, 50 seconds, maybe he thinks they'll start hunting, but at this point, I don't think they can afford to either, so he might have been able to just save that. I guess maybe he'll also think about... Maybe he goes for it. I mean, $7,500, maybe he does, right? If you're not going to save the op, then you might as well have something up your sleeve. So I think I think he does. I think he tries to make this expensive at the very least. Scenario's position, though, is pretty solid. He's going to spot the feet. Ooh, if he doesn't go wide now, he's, yes, he sees it already. He's going to see him first, and no question makes it, so... And careful in that position as he has to go back. Synopsy beats the Molotov. So Wonderful's caught out by that. They didn't expect him to have already been rotated. He is going to be isolated for a moment, but he's doing the job. His teammate's still waiting for the flames to extinguish inside of it. Meanwhile, Siren's going to go aggressively into Scenari as they want to cover off the ramp position. They've already done the task of winning the duels on the retake of the backside, so they had to win some ground back team spirit and try and watch this bomb, but Magic's, they haven't considered his position. He's rotated around on them. They do now. They oh! the door. He nearly got it done, though. Rigon tagged down to 9 HP. If he gets both those kills, knocks him off to the fuse. Open smoke again. Spam from Scenari. That was ahead of the play. So again, wonderful the first to die. 
GXX, AWP now comes in from ramp. Smoke on right side where Bomb goes down close to Decon as well. Very close to Decon, which would be a larger target to spam at in the smoke from that position. Oh, wow. But Siren's actually gone around them here. He's closer than the op might anticipate. And he's just going to play the wall and wait for Utility to potentially help him out. He sees Gun Barrel instead, oh. and he's able to joust with one Flattery. Beat him to the punch. Quite literally got that close. And it's now going to be Rigon and Synopsy as they wait it out and maybe even try and rotate away. Chopper's going to cut them off backside of the vents. And with both kills, it's now eight to three. Some very sharp play. You can't even bring it back to level pegging anymore. Now it's just about making sure that you can limit the amount of damage done here. Chopper is going to find them some room or at least look for that space as Synopsy activates again. Magic's down and Chopper, he's been heard. But he's not found. On Flatro trying to do that right now. He knows he's got to be there. Oh, he looked away. He looked away at the exact time the smoke dissipated. I think he was worried that there was someone still at Big Garage. Synopsy is going to drop the bomb and it's a five on one. And was a wonderful half, but now it's going to be slightly less so as it'll go down to 8-4. Oh, did he just try and flick that? He, like, why he not? definitely did. That's one of those ones like, well, if I've got a swing and look, I might as well just press the button. He goes for the no-scope even. But uh, no movie fragger success this time. <laughs> All these forward smoking out. Synopsy behind their own smoke. Rigon finds the opener. Synopsy's going to try and mop this up, but he'll be traded. They're in. And indeed, GXX. Shots out, but Patsy and Magic are able to get the kills. So again, in early on to a site is Team Spirits. And again, a save. So they're going to save to potentially play for a 9-6 at best in the half. Wait, hold up a second. No, you're, yeah, you, I think you've noted it. They're, they might, three on three, it seemed early to call a save. I just trusted you, but they're going to go with strength and numbers. And it's Patsy that's gone already. Scenario hits that shot. Now it's all on Wonderful over commits, thinks he can get them all. And it's on Magics. He's got one, get inside the hut. Run away, get the reload done. But he's going to get bullets off, off. They can't get to the bomb. It's close enough. Yeah, it's close enough. He can swing on it. He's going to, oh, he got bit deep enough in the corner. It didn't oh. spread. And he just barely gets it done. Six HP, the time's not there. This is done. Bomb's gone. Maybe they should have saved after all. That one there, you know, you see the reposition. Synopsy's still waiting on the cross. He's going to get taken out. Magic's easily removes him with the AK when he does come through. Patsy outside. Patience pays off. Regan thought he could rotate back in from secrets. That's not going to work out in his favor at all. And a moment's off just to make sure no one can re-peak his position. He is going to be spotting two, three. Oh, OK, I know where they all are, guys. Go ahead and plant the bomb. Everything's fine. They're all outside. And one's up on heaven. So they've got the information on that play alone. And Magix, he doesn't want to give them anything here. We are still in game. Don't you worry about that. Main has been smoked off. A real way forward, but I think you all know what that camera means. The half is coming very quickly, and B&E to break back into this one would have to do something out of this world. GXX had a chance, but wonderful on top of the box. Just the jump on him, and Flatro, up he goes, but here comes Chopper. The impact from this lad has been phenomenal. Flatro down, scenario the final to find, but the bomb will probably get there first. This is going to be 11 to 4 in spirit. Should be going in the way of the map chooses. So this isn't too surprising to see Spirit storming off to such a massive lead. Patsy, I have to worry about above him here. Hopefully sound is on because here it comes. And obviously he does get the opener, maybe even double up. That's huge. Okay. All right. I have definitely used the caster curse again, and I apologize to everyone for it. Uh, Siren is going to take down Synopsy, though. That was a great start. Even the big old jump off the top of the main entrance. Bomb's going to get planted on this, so Magic and Siren, the only two left in this, and make that just one. Magic got absolutely obliterated. Left side ramp. Siren will peek on right, and Rigon's got that shot as well. 11-5. You can see Rigon here. He's one of the players. He's going to be very fired up. Opening shots for free on that because oh he might have gone Lord. down if it was a one on one with the AK. Wonderful. Is going to take down Regan. Again, we're seeing second round by Antics Chad, and that AK has been picked up. As you say, that was a free AK given away outside. And that's something I don't know the teams need to do in these, or shouldn't do in these second round situations. Don't give more guns away. Because you know they already have enough to get it started. We see that every time. We know the scout is just getting foolish these days. People are getting better and better with it. GXX is holding the round together, at least. He'll get two kills. Magic's only good for one, and that AK hits the deck, so it's not in the hands of the CTs just yet. Siren tries to open the door. He's even going to nade inside, but that's going to go too far because Synopsy stays inside of the silo and shutting the door. Siren says, hey, man, I wanted to look inside. What's in the box? Well, it's going to be what's in the box is a clutch from the second round. Wonderful. Um, but I'm, I'm still anti-Vertigo. So. I hope Halvor didn't mind me calling his last name Gunnarstall. I know that's not it, but it just reminds me of the Mighty Ducks movie. I don't know how it's actually said. Yeah, okay. Greenland or Iceland or whatever they were 
It was, it was Iceland was the team they made the opposition because, you know, they couldn't make Canada the best because that would be anti-American. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess. I don't really know those politics too well, but this... Yeah, I, I don't either. I mean, I definitely don't and do at the same time. That isn't political at all. A pistol, a Glock winning a duel? Take it or leave it. No one is down to beat just yet. Chopper is trying to respond. This actually still could get out of control. GXX did have that banger of a deagle kill. Chopper's being spotted now and... With some light pistols, they find themselves into a two-on-four situation. Now, it might even just be a save for Spirit. They have so many rounds to work with. One the hole in the wall. They have to deal with this, and he knows. He's gone against one flat true as well. Huge start for Patsy in this round. Oh, dear. That's the entire round frazzled immediately. Not only the damage to Synopsy a big deal, the kill and the presence, and now they have to chop and change. Chopper very, very lucky to be alive. That kill could have changed absolutely everything, so Chopper needs to be counting his lucky stars here. As they're left with... This ramp play is the only option. Two players, Magix and Wonderful in the standard crossfire, ready and raring to go. Wonderful, doesn't matter if he's flash or not. Had the lineup, Magix goes on top of it after the fact, so they never cleared headshot because they thought it was. Already clear as Wonderful shuts it out 14 to six. Road just gets desperate, understandably so. 23 kills for Magix, now he's been having a game. Absolutely mauling them, Boris the Butcher, and plucking them apart. Patsy does spot one top silo, they also know that Flatra had made it across. They didn't know it was Warehouse. They knew it was Secret, and Patsy figures that one out. So three more kills, two more kills. And we're almost done. Bomb down is going to be easily picked up, but I think that's the bigger, or, or sorry, of little concern right now. The bigger concern being that they've only got deagles and four kills to find. Flash to main. Oh, Ragon, I think, was going to hope to drop down off that, but Big Garage reveals him, and this one's done. 16-6. Chance to catch the cross on the second one. Scenario, meanwhile, though, taking advantage of the smokes and utility that's been deployed toward the jungle position. They'll push forward and after the bomb plant. Patsy gone. Synopsy, that's a lurk. He's coming over from B. That's going to make things problematic, and they need to get out of the window. As a result, they're not going to, and they're going to get pinched at CT spawn if they're not quick about this either. So they'll swing, and they should know there's at least two toward. Well, they don't. They think there's still one out in front of the side of the site, so they don't know that there's two over in this side. They don't know that they can actually wrap on this and hold it off. Smoke on it. Maybe just sit the diffuse, and they're going to try. No, they're not. They're forced off by GXX coming out through connector. He shot Chopper and took him off of that Got position. Kid. They're going to have to be quick about this, but I don't think it's going to happen. Scenario's trying. Knife's going to come in. And he'll oh. get it straight in the back. Too okay. nice in this round. Yeah, well, uh, one way forward. I still have to contend with wonderful scouts. CT's going to slow GXX down. There's a chance to counter peek off this as well. And that's exactly it. As Magix will get that shot, but he's forced off the angle. Has to go back. He can pick up a gun, and that'll give him a bit more range. It's AKs now. AKs versus Galils. The CT suddenly come out more powerful in this. And the HP favors them. You're absolutely right. TS might be pulling this back in their favor. And they're going to start swinging toward the site. The one thing that is at the disadvantage right now is they do not have kits. So they do have to pick up the pace slightly. Good Ooh. shot, Synopsy. That was foolish from Ticket Booth. And this is going to be him pulling the bomb away. Oh. But the jump up from Magix, and he'll go back for the defuse. Wow, what a round from Magix that was. There's going to be enough time for this. Plenty of time for the defuse to come through, even with the 10 seconder. Gonna look close, but see that blue? It's catching up to the red, and there it is. B and E are dead. One back now for Spirit. And what a tidy one. Is he... There's the connector play, sure, but this is still very dicey. He's been spotted, spotted now. That's the bomb spotted on the radar here as well. So if that was the plan, maybe it opens the avenue into B. Siren's not looking right now. Good recovery on the shot. Because that's a hard one to snap back to if Chopper has the headshot angle from the window, but Scenario will go. He knew there was one on ticket. So they had to be aware of that, but I don't think they have any indication at all that Wonderful is here, and he's going to walk in. Easy denial of the plant. Spotted both. Takes the double, and TS may take the round on the back of that alone as GX. Ten seconds, he's out. I actually thought that was pretty well called there from BNE, right? They show the bomb, they understand that, hey, it looks like we're leering up. Way to catch rotations on this as well. He's going to be in a perfect position to do so. Siren does catch them coming out from catwalk. No one came from apartments. This was straight take from middle. So bomb gets to the quad side now. And it's again planted default, so Catwalk's not the position for it. Still one, Fletcher waits as well at middle, and no one really challenging. Okay, now he might get some action. Chopper is looking, but he's backed off it because he thinks, well, they can't be coming. They would have been here by now, and guess what? That's exactly when Chopper strikes. He's going to go for the movements toward the jump. He makes that no problem. 
Synopsy is waiting, but there'll be a doubled position. Chopper's made noise. That'll pull his out across there. To the right, he tries to snap it back. Does okay damage, but it's too much to ask. GXX might have a better chance. Sonari's going to support that, and it's down to the two-on-two -two in the side directly, and GXX plays Pillar and Arch, and that's a tough position to pull him from. And the AWP of Wonderful might be hitting the deck. It looks like B&A with Bomb about to explode. I'm going to go 4-2. Good round. Actually, really well put to round, together round there was intentionally blocked because you don't want to stall in the window. You saw a GXX was swinging for that fight. The flashes were good to help keep the cover there. But now back towards A for an execute. Chopper under the balcony. Magics from Ticket. He's done some great work from here already. And Siren rotating over. Magix is going to be the one that, I was going to say spot them first, but he tucked back in, didn't want to be overexposed toward a main, so Chopper does too. Gets off the cinders before getting found as well and tries to use the ladder to his advantage. Gets away from more shots. He's in the open, boys. He got to go in on that path. He finally will. Chopper did all the work to get him there, to pull him out, and then without coverage. Very potent from that position with the rifle is Magix so far in this game. And here comes the light execute. They only have the down smoke. Oh, the up will land as well on the stairs just above. It means they have to fight CT. Nade's gonna do it. Oh, like very little damage. Might as well not even count it. 84 for Synopsy. That's a bit more damage though. Patsy on scenario. Oh, chopper. Patience pays off. He gets the one on Rigon, but no one else walked out. So he's hoping to get maybe a double off of that. May not matter. His teammates are doing the best they can. On Flatstro though, unexpectedly has got connector. He's gonna double, but a good turn for Magix in time. Burn Patsy. Can't even have time, doesn't even have time and enough health to swing and try and take the fight. But yeah, the secondary smoke, you see a lot of teams flash themselves in, take the peek, no tell that they're coming. The smoke's there, but he plays the edge of it and they think he's disappeared. Oh. You know who has disappeared? The Rigon inside the smoke. When he emerges, Siren goes down. This is still a three on three, despite the HP being very limiting on the B&E side. And the good call from B&E right now is the fact that if they head towards B, which is where Synopsy is taking the bomb, the high HP member, Chopper on the other side is on low HP on an island on his own. Now that could change very quickly. Magix is currently in T-Spawn calling this clear. Wonderful has to run the gauntlet as he rotates back. So really it's on Chopper to get them at least one kill to make this possible. Heard the scope. Oh! Heard the AK as it crushed his skull. So B and E successful with the break and enter on B. It's now going to be GXX versus Magix. Two X in each name. But who's going to find that sexy third one? As it's in the back of the site, Magix able to find the headshot easily enough. Synopsy's still in 100 HP. But he's not alone because Rigon's already covered off Catwalk. This becomes more and more difficult because he has no idea he's in quality. He can control the people. Waterfall out of Palace. Three players ahead of the play. Chopper pivots back in time and he gets one and done as the bomb gets dropped. Magix takes down Synopsy as part of the trade, and I want to say, Spirit have taken back control here. On Flatro, hanging on, flash deep. No bomb plant on this. It's not like he has a post plant position where they have to peek him, but they still do. Magix gives himself up, and when Flatro's realized they've tried to retake the triple, so he's holding that same angle, sneaking. Ooh, interesting bounce, Nid. I think that may have been intended to go up above, but it came toward his other target instead. When Flatro's still gonna punish him. And it's down to just him though. And Siren's gonna get a bit too quiet right now in middle, so has to be the A players. More utility rains out. The smoke towards connector fading in about five seconds. Oh, make it a second one, never mind. It's still gonna be found though. Manages to pull it. Scenario not fast enough on the trigger, so hold for GXX to see if they can get anything done with this. He holds a main. Bomb is planted very much for him. Gotta force a peek out of this sandwich as well. Up close on Flatro, trying to jump and bait. He will at least get one shot. The missed AWP, they now know exactly where GXX is. Could have been anticipated either way. He's gonna be tagged to 22. Pistol will do. Patsy with the kill and the defuse is done. 11. Our favorite spirit, understandably so. Canary notes a lot of information, calls the troops for backup, but he's already dead. He'll have to sit and watch this one from the grave. He's gonna push forward, Canary though. That is the kit in the round, by the way. That's the, the only one that was bought. So it's on CT stairs. Nopsy? Uh, rotation meant to be here. Way. That's crazy. He's just walked up the wall. He just got this for free. He's looking for a third, but there is still two behind him he didn't know about. That was crazy. No one watching it. He got outside of jungle uh, completely uncontested. And it's given them a one on two and a chance to win this out. Chopper. Bomb is still ticking. That kit has been picked. No, it hasn't, but it doesn't matter. There's time enough on that. They'll get the defuse. So it'll be 11-5 as Bad News Eagles get the pistol. What a play Synopsy made right there. That was marvelous. Just the fact he's able to pip that gap that subverted the expectation. 
for the bomb plant, that's great. But if you take the additional $500 out of it, you're not buying all this. You can't afford all of this. You even have a smoke Chopper! Too. This is crazy. Chopper with the Galil finding two, and they have a huge advantage. What a battle Galil yeah, moment that was. Set the starting back to zero. That wants to put him a step back in the economy here, but TS want to take a step forward. That, that should be enough for the round. Even though GXX is pushing, look at Chopper now. He's just parked the bus. So I'm expecting an aggressive maneuver. He might win this round single-handedly here, Chopper. This is such a hard angle to clear. I don't think GXX will even look. This is like a deathmatch angle that you never expect. So if anyone's ever deathmatched on Mirage, you know that there's a multiple amount of spawns there, and you are so good at holding the doorway. The only way you kill someone coming out of it is if you know they're there. And in a game like this, you're never going to expect that. So yeah, you're right. I can't believe the round. The fact he gets two kills in mid like that on his own, Matt, that is insane. Chopper's had some great rounds, especially back on Nuke, that clutch early on the T side. He's been phenomenal. Killing them with silence here, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Silent but deadly. Sinari <laughs> comes in and... Siren, excuse me, comes in and takes down Sinari. Yeah. Can't spell Sinari uh, without Siren. That's true. It's true indeed. You'd be good at Bananagrams. It's a fun game that OJ... 30 seconds before the set piece comes in. They do have smokes available for CT or the up-down again. Flashes. Another molly over towards that dark position. But they need to really start moving. 28 seconds. Magic's gonna have to just open this up. He's gonna have to go. Confidence. No one in jungle yet, but they're rotating out a window, so this becomes more complicated. You get a crossfire position. Smoke out. He's gonna try and at least cover off jungle. Flash behind it. That'll allow a bit more confidence for Wonderful. He starts his way in. Magic's still just sitting back on this. He's gonna have to swing at some point to cover CT. Smoke's down. Plant safe side of the bomb. On flash is gonna go through it. Wonderful pulls it back, but you're right. There's no time to plant now. They had to defend the VIP, just like AS Oil Rig, and it's not gonna work out. It goes 12-6 the first map where they were so aggressively opening up on Nuke. Flatro's tagged. Scenario good for one, but goes down, and Chopper's gonna follow that one. Flatro falls. Damage is resounding, though, against Team Spirit at this point in time. So even though they have an advantage, they've got a flank they have to worry about. They've gotta get this done quickly. And again, last time, they didn't oh, oh, They didn't protect the planter. GXX knows Chopper can't get to the top of the stairs to try and help from CT, but a smoke not available, a flash will do. GXX cannot peek, Ooh. and Rurigan's a little bit too late getting there. But here's Synopsy. We went for it right away. He might have been able to sneak up a little closer on that one, but either way, Patsy's pulling one back. It's going to be traded back immediately, and it's just a fraction of HP. It's just 14 for Team Spirit to hold this bomb as GXX switches out the guns, and Chopper found. They're going to check this. Surely they check this. Magics. Oh, caught him looking away. Caught him looking away. He's going to go for it. No, not going to happen. Bomb gets defused. He was a split second too late. I like the way Matthew put it in terms of the momentum. One round makes them believe they can win the next round, and the next round, and that momentum builds and builds and builds. Locked in right now is Flatro. Smelling blood is Chopper. He gets yeah. one back. Um, Mac 10 to pay off. Oh, and then an overreaction. Synopsy trying to compensate for that. Get toward mid. Did not know that Siren was still standing and watching it. So Team Spirit suddenly have an advantage in this situation. Just losing Patsy so far, but they'll lose Magics now. GXX inside. All three from the same position, and they have a problem because there is still a Lurk behind them. And right now, I don't think there's eyes on it. Chopper might get an indication. Low HP, as they're gonna try and just hold this. They're gonna try and just go for this, but they've got the kills. Someone's got a peek and he's off the bomb now. Wonderful will get it and it's 13 B. Mask the fact that they're inside the middle and try and get toward the site. Synopsis just hit two insane deagle shots and picks up an AK on the back of it. Oh, 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 oh. Take the shot. You got it because if he walks away, you're gonna miss the chance. Sinari oh. hits him with a 5-7. He played that so well and couldn't hit it still. They have not got a bomb plant down in this, and it is a two versus four. Magic's trying to find an angle on this, but he's got to be so careful. A step further forward, and he'll be spotted out by Bench. Siren tries to take that obligation, but they're not gonna peek until they have the man and the strength and the numbers to do it. Siren does at least get one on rotation in the window. He knew they had to be arriving sooner or later. Magic's even trying to force an overpeak on the other side of the pillar, but he's lost his teammate and he's gonna get picked apart himself they pull it right back it's 13 to 8. I don't think that would be great the players have been able to identify and learn all of those and if it leaves a massive void like that it actually keeps you in a rough position so I execute here it comes the thing is with that, with that gap as well it doesn't matter if they peek it and die if they don't go there it's the same information so one flatro just rotates back out of the window knows that this is gonna be a quick a because there was no one in mid and he's got the first kill. Second, that contacts come in. He's confident. They've lost Wonderful now as well. I'm not looking confident for TS to find these last three rounds. You get one kill back, but that's all in this round. It's going to be Chopper versus four. They're going to have to do it the difficult way, right? And, and this is where they're going to have to start. 
really slowed things down on this map compared to the former. Synopsy, I don't even know if he knew exactly where that came from originally. He just started firing back and fades off the position because he can't afford to go down. And SGXX has gone down. Two at Firebox. They spotted them both. No way out. Siren's going to walk in and absolutely annihilate the site. Got a bit clumsy there, didn't it? Looked that was, very good for why, the Eagles. Yeah. So that was strong, and I think they got caught up by the timing. That's the only thing that really makes sense, and they might lose it he all was, here. Was he, he was shuffling out from shadow, I think. There was utility going that direction, but it was like they didn't communicate to each other, and they both got stuck in the same corner. Yeah, well, as soon as two of them get spotted in that position, it's all over, right? That A site was meant to be a couple of players being baited in by the orb, and this is it, losing everything right now. Patsy will find the final. Synopsy goes. Synopsy can't get it. He's going to get taken down. Patsy gets behind. He hasn't yet jumped on the bench. Easy kill. But that does give him up to one Flatro, and they can't get the response. He'll get tagged down to 48. A okay, good understanding of the situation from Flatro. They had to draw one back, but Magix is looking for space. He's been dinked. He has to commit to this, and Sineri activates from under the balcony. Oh, Spirit, they have the mid space. They have to do something with it, and Siren needs to hit this. Oh. That is a massive shot. That is a sick shot. Turning a 180, looks up, checks corner, and nails it. Sometimes it's easy to whiff on those ones. Especially when the other player is waiting for your presence, knowing that you're down there. He has the upper hand that way. One for one again. It's Scenario that goes down. Arrow? Ooh, I think he's maved. Oh, I don't know. I X-ray is misleading I swear sometimes. He saw it. I, I think swear he, he saw it. I think it was past the pillar, but it's tough with the X-ray. Yeah, he definitely did. So now it's just GXX. No smoke back to connector. Don't have one either. They have a Molotov and two flashes, and it's going to be the default plant behind the box. He never revealed himself. He walked out from the CT side, so GXX can't anticipate the shot through in the flash. Doesn't matter. He'd already made the cross. How do you get through this? Wow, this could be map and series point right here. 4TS. GXX goes to window. Made a lot of noise doing it. And he's going to save. He's going to back off. He couldn't get the pick he wanted. He couldn't catch anyone out. So... Just a note as well in the... March Madness, as it is. We've got the Americas Miners starting up right now as well. You've Complexity versus Double O Nation. Spot for qualification on the line in that one as well. Oh, Patsy. Patience pays off. Regon walks back out. It's two kills with no response, and Team Spirit look like they might be on their way to Rio. Siren will get the shot onto one flat throw. It's all down to GXX. The only one that remains. AWP in hand, but a lot to work with, and he's whiffed on one. Finds it again on Chopper, but they know where he is. They know he's low. Flash out. He tries to fire in, and guess who's stuck up behind? It's Sineri and Team Spirit are in for sure. Now, again, the time...